Do you feel that more should be done to help the homeless? I appreciate that this video is more of a personal nature, but if you could spare a few minutes to hear out a sentimental old git, I would very much appreciate it. I'm stood in front of a unit that's over 5,000 square feet. This industrial unit has been empty for years. In Northampton alone, there are tens of thousands of square feet of empty industrial space. There are certain units that have been vacant for as long as 10 years and nothing is done with them. It may seem very simplistic, but to me, the very thought that there is empty space in every town throughout the country and yet people are forced to sleep on the streets is something that does not rest easy with me. I have tried on many occasions contacting the landlords of these units to see if they would be prepared to allow them to be used as temporary emergency accommodation for the homeless. I've not had much luck. It may be a tall order and I may be being idealistic here but I feel that these units could be used as temporary accommodation especially in the current climate when more and more people may be struggling with their rent or maybe struggling emotionally or psychologically and end up homeless. And I feel that in a country that is the fifth or sixth largest economy in the world that nobody should be homeless at any time, no matter who is to blame. Some people end up homeless because of domestic issues, financial issues, or maybe they just give up. In life, there are always those who can't, who won't, who don't, through no fault of their own but those of us who can, who will, who do, have a burden of responsibility to ensure that these people never end up on the streets. As I see it, many of these units, due to the way the tax laws work, have ended up in the hands of pension companies who have bought them with other people's money and don't really care if they sit there empty for years. If these units are made available for emergency accommodation, I have no doubt in the goodwill of the local people to contribute clothes, food, their time, effort, beds, etc. That would be no problem at all. I'm not suggesting another charity where only a fraction of what is contributed goes to those who need it. I'm more c considering or proposing something that is done on a charitable basis with all the contributions going to those who need it most. I feel that anyone who needs a bed for the night, a shower, a change of home, a change of clothes, maybe some help, counselling, should have that made available to them. There is also the invisible homeless, the people who are sleeping on an endless chain of friends' sofas, rapidly running out of favours. And as many of us may be aware, Due to the lockdown, there has been an increased incidence of domestic violence. The time spent locked together in a home has exacerbated the problem. And there are many people throughout the country who are living in fear, maybe in fear of their lives, but have nowhere to go. I feel that if here in Northampton, we can put pressure on those who are able to make available this amount of space and actually have somewhere that anyone can turn up at any time and have a bed for the night, have a meal, have a change of clothes. I feel that this could be repeated throughout the country and I do feel it's about time that we make the effort to try and eradicate homelessness once and for all. There are certain advantages to an industrial unit because people coming and going, the traffic would not dis disturb people in residential areas. If there are any problems, again, there would not be in residential areas. I appreciate that these units may not be the Ritz, but anything is better than having to sleep in a doorway in the town centre where people are feeling degraded, they are in danger and they have no hope. Maybe they could even be used as an address for the people, as a mailing address, so they could claim benefits, apply for jobs, or better themselves. I've not had much luck with this, but I'm hoping that some of you 
have the network, the connections, the experience and the will to help me make this happen. If you have any suggestions whatsoever that you can put to me, please feel free to contact me directly. I'm not after championing this personally. If you feel that you can help make this happen, I'm happy to support you in any way that I can and help promote this and put pressure on those who can actually make this happen. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in my next video.